I'm gonna have some trays sitting up here. If, um, if you guys have it, and you want something, you can come in and grab it. Um, if you want to wait to get it out, I'm taking one of you can do that too. If you've never been here before, you're welcome. If you have, you're welcome back. We're still practicing. Personal hygiene here. So don't sneeze on my way. Wash in the mud. Use the restroom. Wash your hands, please. We need our chairs. Stacy. You be happy to get some chairs. There's chairs over here. If we're out of chairs, you can put some of those chairs down. Or the metal ones. Okay? Yeah. There's the metal ones back there. The restrooms are right over here. There's a water fountain in the back. We will go back to having everything set up here in a little bit. Just give it a little bit of time. Oh yeah, Joey, go ahead and grab some of the chairs back there. Yes, uh, family visiting. Ethan, grab some chairs in here, please. Please. Are you doing good? Yeah? Good. Good. Uh, you guys stop watching the news yet? <laughs> Something uh, last night. Hmm? What did you do last night? So, eight weeks. I, this, what did you do last have night? Have you noticed that I haven't been preaching for a couple of things just because oh, I'm really you your brain down. I can't stop talking about this. <laughs> What's going on? And, and I just feel like I'm going to do something else. So, Harry's going to finish the movie off the road. But of course, I'm just going to do it in the end. So, again, now, now we're at a stage where people are, are saying enough, it's enough, they're, they're, they're done, they're, they're ready to come out, they want to, they want things back to normal, they want the gyms open, they want the stores open, they want the schools to come back open, and everybody, you know, they're like, okay, we, we need stuff to go back to normal. They want the churches to come back to normal. But listen, if you guys, if these, if, if we wouldn't have been so quick to shut down in the first place, if you would have just held your ground and, and stood on your faith to begin with, we wouldn't be in this position yet. And I'm not, I'm not saying we, I'm just saying in general, the population. So now you're seeing these churches are all saying, oh, we got to stand up. Listen, if you would have done that eight weeks ago, you wouldn't be in the position you are now. <laughs> with everything, with your businesses. If every business said, listen, you're not going to keep us from, from opening and went and opened their business, they don't have enough jail cells for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's something, it, it, listen, something would have took place. I'm not saying it's anarchy and, and revolt and all that stuff. But we, we've, we've got to use our heads. We've got to pay attention. We've got to ask questions. You know, now, now, now people are really going, well, what's this all about? What's happening? There's more than this. Yeah. Yeah, there is. But this is something that you should have been looking at eight weeks ago. But now we know. Now we know. And now we can be prepared. And if people came together, it talks about the Bible in Acts, where when the body was in one accord, what happened? The miracle that took place when everybody was in one accord. And that's how, as a body of believers, we've got to be in one accord. I'm not talking about people in this room, I'm talking about the whole body of believers, the church. I'm not saying that this virus isn't real. I'm not saying that people aren't dying. It's happening. But 
I'm not going to say oh, this is morbid, but people die all the time. It's part of life. We die. And at the same time when people die, what's happening? It will be born. It's how the world works. I, I hate to, 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 to tell you that, but we're all going to die one day here. And it's just it's how it works. But if, 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 if the news advertises death, 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 death all day, everybody's going to freak out. What are you freaking out about? We're going to die. We're going to die. And if it's his planning for us to die now, we're going to die. There's nothing we can change about that. So, my point of all this to say again is that we watched the news eight weeks ago, and, and it's telling you one thing, and then a few more weeks go by, and it's telling you something else, and then we're here now, and it's telling you something different again. And it's going back and forth, and you're like, it's just, it's just more confusion, more chaos. Something different here, something now. Now, do we wear a mask or not wear a mask? Now it's saying you wear a mask, you're gonna pass out. You're breathing in your your your, your exhale. It's making me sick. You gotta do this, you gotta do this. I mean, it, is it even doing anything? Because it says the part of us can come in. And then if you're not wearing a mask, you're a selfish person. And and it's just it's ridiculous. It's going all over the place. But listen, right here, right? When you open this book and you read this book. If you never read it before, you opened it up eight weeks ago and read it. And then you open it up and read it today. It says the same thing. It doesn't change. It doesn't waver. It's still the same thing. His promises are the same. There's, he, he, he's not going back on what he says. There's no questioning what this book says. So if we stand on this, and this is what we go by, and we live our life by this, we don't have to get caught up in all this. What do we do? What do we do? What's going on? What's happening? We just stay focused. We'll have um, our hope is in something other than what they're trying to feed us because it's, it's going to take us out.